Aloha, I'm Charlotta Wilson, an industrial and organizational psychologist, coach, and certified Dare to Lead facilitator. At Capiche, we help good leaders become great. Why am I chronically busy and how do I stop it? I get asked this question quite a bit and I'm intimately familiar with this problem. The need to be busy is one of the biggest lies that we can tell ourselves to feel a sense of fulfillment. In actuality, being busy is an indicator of hidden fears as well as scarcity. Okay, let's talk about scarcity for a second. Scarcity is learned and it has a voice. It tells us that we're not enough and that we don't have enough. And so we psych ourselves into a threat mode and we start reacting. Let's personalize scarcity here. Scarcity is slick. He will drive your FOMO in overdrive in no time. Here are a few examples of what busy might look like as a result of scarcity mindset. You take on a project that you have no business taken on simply because no one can do it better than you. You add one more webinar to your calendar. You join another book club. You say yes to hosting another Tupperware gig or you keep checking social media hoping that something else is going to come in. Any of that sound familiar to you? No shame. Now that we know what scarcity looks like, what do you think is the opposite of scarcity? Nope. Not abundance. It's enough. Here's some good news. You can get off the busy train and you can create new neural pathways to better habits and to better thinking. I have four suggestions on how to get that started. Before you begin your day, consider a practice of meditation and or prayer. Affirm daily that you have enough and you are enough. Before you add to your calendar, ask yourself, is this serving my higher purpose or is it serving my ego? And last, find at least three things each day that you're grateful for. And here's a bonus, evaluate the company that you keep. The reason why is we model the behavior and habits of those that we spend most of our time with. If there's one thing that the pandemic has taught me, it's that tomorrow is not promised and busy does not equal success. I hope that these tips have been useful for you. If you like what you heard and you want to hear more, please subscribe to the Capiche channel. Go ahead and click the button here somewhere. Thanks for listening in. Salamat po. There's two things here that I want to... There's two things here. There are two... There are two things here. There are two things here about scarcity that we should hone in. I think it's hone in on. Ah, that sounds weird. Okay. Scarcity... Scarcity is slick. Let's personalize... Now I gotta drink water. Water always helps. Settle the ball. Calm it down. <laughs> that's not the that's not the call to action.